and there are Australian stories that have lived here ever since the first sunrise. But together, everyone on this land has one or both of those stories, and we celebrate all of that today. I want to acknowledge my, my parliamentary colleagues uh, in both Wendy and Chaquette, uh, the council, council colleagues, but in particular, in particular, uh, Mohammed Abid, uh, through you, I just want to acknowledge the work of the association. The association over the last 12 months, and, and similar, similar with, with Armenia. The association over the last 12 months has had to look after our community like never before. The last 12 months, the whole pandemic has been hard. But for the last 12 months, first when the rules came down hard on construction, it hit our part of Sydney really hard. And then when the rules were different for our part of Sydney to the rest of Sydney, and the enforcement was being done differently to our part of Sydney to the rest, and the media, the way they were treating our part of Sydney, meant that we just had to look after each other. Now, I remember people packing food parcels, uh, and, you know, Cal Balala, a lot of us, uh, Rochelle, uh, a lot of us involved in, in doing that. Uh, and people were packing parcels saying, when my family came to Australia, it never occurred to me that here in this country we might have to be provide food to people. But that's what happened. And when we were disappointed in different ways with the rules and when it was hard, the community associations came through. Every day that this association has existed, you've looked after people and you've cared for people, but over the last 12 months, you have saved lives. You have saved lives, you've delivered healthcare when it was needed, you've delivered food when it was needed, and when people in our community had every reason at different moments to think maybe they were on their own, this association said, no, you're not. We are there with you. Now I've been pleased during the course of the year to provide different grants in different ways as a local member has been able to and want to be able to continue to do that. Because the truth is, as members of parliament, and at the moment I'm not in government, I've got a job interview coming up before we next thing uh, to, to determine where that lands. But governments do, do and what they can, but ultimately, it's community associations like yourselves that put the human face to show the respect that give us so much to celebrate today. So can I, in offering those things that reflect, respect and celebrate, just so specifically, we don't have to go broader than this room to find so much to respect, to find so much to reflect on and to use today as an opportunity to celebrate the very best of what Australia has to offer. Thank you very much, Mr. Berg. I'm feeling rather exposed. There's no podium here. I've just come in. got this little skinny microphone to hide behind. Um, I'd like to call now on Member of the State Liberal Party, MP for East Hills, Ms Wendy Lindsay Safety Woods. Well hello everybody, I hope you've had a fantastic Australia Day, celebrating everything that's fantastic and beautiful about our great nation. And just to that I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, both past, present and emerging. I had a great day actually travelling around all parts of my electorate and also Greater Sydney today and zoomed in this morning to uh, uh, Henry Base Town Council's awards and I noticed there's a few award winners in the room here this evening so congratulations to all of you that actually uh, won awards and are great representatives of our community here. And to Elmina for the great work they do, obviously your uh, hometown is a very harmonious, peaceful and a beautiful place where everyone you know lives harmoniously and that's the great um, the great thing about our country is that we have a very multicultural um, community particularly here in this part of um, Sydney and we are a very lucky um, community and we do all get along very harmoniously and work together 
So I am very happy to be here um, to represent the uh, Liberal Nationals for the State Government. And earlier in the year, we did do it tough. And at the time, I did say to uh, Gladys at the time, who was Premier, that you know we did need extra community support for our community groups, that we're doing fantastic things out in our community. And I do have a, um, a check to present to the President. Um, for a community bus that I know will be very well used um, with your organisation. So I am very thankful to be here and very happy to be able to present this to you for the great work that you do. Uh, to so
Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hansford. I'd also like to welcome um, representatives from the Aluminium Association. Thanks for coming today. Thank you. Okay. My turn. It's your turn. My turn. Okay. So, um, my uncle, Mohammed, I was going to say Mohammed, so there wasn't that family association during this formal occasion, but I'll have to say Uncle Mohammed because that's what I call him. Um, he called me up a couple of days ago and asked me to make a little speech about a success story. I'm not sure that's me. There are a lot of you know, success, more successful people than me in this room. But here I am. So, I came to Australia as a Palestinian refugee in 1974 when I was about six years old. I was going to talk to you about how and why I became a Palestinian refugee. I did actually write it up but I decided to cut it out and save you about three or four minutes of, um, of boredom. Um, it's a story for another time. But as a six-year-old child, I didn't know a single word of English when I arrived here. And here I was in Australia attending Wakemba Infant School. I have to admit, growing up in Australia in the early years wasn't easy. Little kids can be pretty mean and migrants that didn't speak much English were an easy target. Um, greasy wog was the fashionable slur in those days. I, don't, I didn't know at the time what wog meant, but I knew that it wasn't something nice. I'm pleased to say that Australia has come a long way since then, and we've become a vibrant, multicultural society. It took me about a year to become fluent in English, so much so that I became the Deputy Principal's unofficial translator for the Lebanese kids. We used to have corporal punishment in those days. You know, where you get the cane. And I would be often called out of the class to explain to the Lebanese kids why, he was, why they were getting the cane. Six of the best, they used to call it, for anyone who remembers those days. Um, fortunately, I didn't get it. I've never, never had a taste of the cane, but um, I know many people that did. I attended Sir Joseph Banks High School in Reevesby mostly a white Australia, Australian school in those days. I did very well academically, achieving ducks of my grade, and in year 12 I was voted as school captain. This was one of the proudest moments of my life, a Palestinian refugee wall being voted by mostly Anglo kids to be their captain. It was the first time that I really felt Australian and began to appreciate what a wonderful opportunity this country had given me. I went on to university and I graduated with a degree in electrical engineering and now I'm an IT manager for a major Australian bank. I think most of us take it for granted just how fortunate we are to live in this country. To have the opportunity to get quality public education for our children regardless of their ethnic background. To have a quality public health system which doesn't turn sick people away just because they can't pay. The freedom to worship, to travel, to gather, to protest. The peace, safety and security that we live under. To be able to stop your car and go for a swim at any beach without having to pay somebody. The idea of the fair go, that any Australian who has the, who has the determination to work hard will be given the opportunity to succeed, regardless of their wealth, status, or ethnic background. To be living under the rule of law, regardless of your wealth, status, or ethnic background. That we don't have to watch helplessly as leaders bequeath their positions to their offspring. That we have politicians and public officials who provide good governments. To have freedom of the press, freedom of expression, to be able to hold our political leaders to account. Case in point, one of our ex-premiers resigned after failing to declare a $3,000 bottle of wine he received from a business executive. A premier's leadership collapsing over a $3,000 bottle of wine. 
Or the New South Wales Police Minister who was pulled over and fined for using his mobile phone while driving. Wow. <laughs> there are many more examples. This is unheard of in most countries. I was recently in Lebanon, and whenever I told one of my relatives these stories, they would laugh at me. I guess they were contrasting it with the behaviour of their politicians and officials. I have to say, it makes me really proud to be an Australian when I, when I tell these stories. Finally, I just want to say, thank you, Australia. Happy Australia Day, everyone. Seeing 
of how lucky we are to live in this country, which support its citizens during difficult times, both financial and health-wise. When we or our relatives become sick, our health system was there for us. Our hospital did not turn people away. Our public health system does not discriminate based on the person, ethic, background, or their financial status. We are all Australian and we are treated equally. Let us not take that for granted. Some of us lost loved ones and witnessed the suffering of some of our friends and family at the hand of this pandemic. But we are better off than most other countries and God willing, there is a light at the end of this time. We should also take a time to reflect and appreciate the contribution of our health workers who have worked tirelessly over the past two years and continue to work, putting themselves and their family at the great risk to take care of us. The one we have put together as a community really made me proud to be on Australia. So let us reflect, respect, celebrate. We are all part of this story. And being in Australia, a very good opportunity to be this part of Australia, serving our community. I would like to thank the Australian government, which is the Australian National Guide Council for their support in this event. And finally, I would like to thank my family at Elmina, Australia, for their continued support. I have to mention some names because every one of them has to make this event happen. The first one I want to, I want to mention, Khalid al Masri, is a consultant leader of our association. <laughs> Mohammed Ayubi is the vice president, he's always behind my back. He's talking Sadlam. Sadlam is talking, you know. But he's, he's my best friend. Our secretary, Mohammed Issa, is a wonderful man. I can't hear what he's going to do in the world. Better than me, the treasurer. Oh, he's a big man. He's a rich man, all the money there. Yeah. Uh, I like to remind him, he's a data guru. I like to remind him, he's a very hard to make this ever happen. Who forget? I won't forget our uh, title. He's a leader, he's a leader of the organization. He is in the most power of the organization. And behind all the activity, guess who? Samuel Almosa. He's working hard to get our work together and sports activity. We have one person, he's worked always behind the scene, like a soldier. Rabbi Akhtar, Rabbi Akhtar is a hero of the power of the moment. We have also mentioned Shinan, our very best friend and our supporter. We have Khalid Arab, we have We have Fawad Mali, and we have Taisir Kalasina, and we have Ismat Habushi. And finally, our MC for tonight, Mr. Jalal Wazir, who is his birthday to that. Thank you for being part of our story tonight. Happy birthday. Please, Mr. Shafiq, can you have one word for us, please? Now? Let's do the Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Uncle Habib, for uh, giving you uh, to the say a few words. Uh, it is a special delight uh, to be here this evening. And I want to thank, of course, uh, Dalal, uh, Dalal Saifur. Uh, I got the message from Dalal Saifur. You're coming a lot. <laughs> so, I got a bit scared, so I said, no, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm definitely coming. So I do thank uh, the last say for, uh, for the, the invitation. And I thank you, Amina, uh, for the honor uh, to be here, to be part of this uh, very important and
a special uh, Australia Day celebration. I want to acknowledge each and every one of you for being here this evening. But of course, I want to acknowledge my arms and colleagues, uh, Tony Burke and uh, uh, Wendy Lindsay. And more importantly, um, we don't know this process, but usually whenever we acknowledge the first person we should acknowledge always is His Worship the Mayor, because he is really and truly the first citizen of Canterbury Bankstown, and we ought to acknowledge the Mayor and the Deputy Mayor, and I acknowledge um, Carlos Ford and Bilal, uh, uh, Bilal. I was going to say Harika, <laughs> between Harika. But can I just say, during the, uh, during the lockdown, uh, the work of uh, the Mayor and the Deputy Mayor and the councillors, uh, Rochelle included, were just incredible. I mean, I, just looking at Facebook, every second post um, had something to do with Canterbury Banks down, helping and serving people. And that's a, a true mark of politicians, not just uh, putting their names up uh, on the windows or putting their names up in posters, but actually working and working very hard. So congratulations to the Mayor and Deputy Mayor and Rochelle for being great for Also, congratulations on being re-elected. And Richard, uh, congratulations on also being re-elected re in um, Liverpool. I want to thank the media uh, always uh, for their support. Their support during my hard times, uh, well, they were there and I appreciate them and I appreciate the support of everybody uh, for the wonderful help that they reached out um, in support. Australia Day is a beautiful day. I mean, it's a, uh, for many people, it's different things. For some, it's a holiday from a barbecue. Um, it's a break from work. But for others, it's a celebration of a nation. But still for others, um, the indigenous people, the Aboriginal people of Australia, the, the First Nation uh, people, um, it is an invasion day. So different perspectives, uh, different attitudes to Australia and in an Australia Day. But what is important is that we all work toward improving our nation. And it's important that we recognize the role, um, the dignity, uh, the respect that we should show to our Indigenous Australians. I mean, Mr. Habib, my uncle said 65,000 years. I mean, when you think about it, um, Captain Arthur, Captain Arthur, Captain Philip, Arthur Philip, when he landed in Sydney Cove uh, 234 years ago, uh, put up the British flag and declared Australia, or at least the east, eastern side of Australia, as terra nullius, as their own land, as an empty land and a colony for Britain. And terra nullius, we are aware what terra nullius means. It means land without people. And that reflects also the issue with Palestine, land without a people. But that's not true. It's not the story, it's not the fact. The reality is, the reality is, indigenous Australians, many nations, were here 65,000 years before. And they looked after the land, they nurtured the land, and they respected the land. And we should respect them. Australia Day wasn't on the 26th of January 30 years ago or more. Uh, in other states, it was different dates. We should be able to reconcile with our Indigenous Australians and ensure that Australia Day, whatever date it is, that we bring everybody together. Uh, thank you, uh, Uncle Habib, for the introduction and happy Australia Day to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, for who is that uh, doesn't speak uh, English, I'm going to say to you all in Arabic if you don't know it. Uh, I'll make it short very quick. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am a member of the Congress of the CSC and a member of the Congress of the CSC and a member of the Congress of the CSC and a member of the Congress of the CSC and a member of the Congress of the CSC and a member of the Congress of the CSC and a member of the Congress of the CSC and a member of the Congress of the CSC and a member of the Congress فقد تطور إلى ما هو أعمال من هذا إنه احتفال بمدى حسن الظن في العيش في هذا البلد العظيم ونحن نستمع ونحسن قصص بعضنا البعض 
ومساهماتا وتطلعاتا لاننا جميعا جزء من هذه القصه. نحتفل بكل الاشياء التي نحبها في استراليا الارض، الشعوب والمساواه، نمط الحياه، الديمقراطيه، الحريات التي نتمتع بها ولكن بشكل خاص هذا الشعب المعطاء المتنوع تاريخ استراليا بدا من اكثر من 65 الف سنه. لذلك من المهم ان نفكر في ماضينا وما دامنا في تاريخ وثقافه السكان الاصليين وسكن وسكان جدر مضيق تعرف ونعترف بالاثر الدائم للاستيطان الاوروبي على تلك الثقافه. نحن جميعا جدر من قصه استراليا من اولئك الذين عاش اسلافهم على هذه الارض بعشرات الاف من السنين. إلى موجات المهاجرين التي تلت ذلك. في يوم السابع يثمن كيف أننا محاطين بالأصدقاء والأسر والمجتمع ونقدر السلام والوئام الذين نعيش فيهم. لقد كانت السنتين الماضية صعبة للغاية بالنسبة للناس في جميع أنحاء العالم، حيث تعاملوا مع أكثر وباء كورونا. ربما تذمرنا من إزعاج الإغلاقات. واضطررنا الى تعليم اطفالنا في المنزل وعدم قدرتنا على رؤيه اصدقائنا والتاثير على سوق العيش. اننا نشكر الله لوجودنا للعيش في هذا البلد الذي يدعم المواطنين في الاوقات الصعبه ماليا وصحيا على حد سواء. عندما مرضنا او مرض اقاربنا كان نظامنا الصحي موجودا من اجلنا. مستشفيات ونظامنا الصحي لم يبعد الناس ولم يغلق ابوابهم امام المواطنين كما انه لا لم يركز على اساس الخلفيه العرقيه للشخص او وضعه الثاني نحن جميعا اسرائيليون فلقد فلقد فقد بعضنا احباء وشهد المعاناه بعض اصدقائنا واسرتنا على يد هذا الوباء ولكننا ابقى الحالا من معظم البلدان الاخرى ينبغي لنا ان نشكر مساهم الموظفين في القطاع الصحي ونقدر جهودهم هم الذين عملوا بلا كلام على مدى العام غير الماضيين وما زالوا يواصلون العمل مع تعظيم تعظيم انفسهم واسرهم لخطر كبير الايام المدينه النظام وطريقه العيش التي تجمعنا بها كمجتمع تجعلني فخورا بكون اسرنا والجميل اننا نحن جميعا جزء من هذه القصه أخيرا أود أن أشكر السودان لجميع سكان أستراليا ولعائلتي للدعم غير متناهي في خدمة هذا البلد. شكرا لحضوركم وهذه أسرة لدى. Let's go. 
الحقيقه اخواننا الكرام الاستاذ احمد الحوري استاذ الميناء كان بطل السباحه في لبنان لعده سنوات ومدرب عالمي يعني ودرب كثير من الناس المعروفه في العالم وعنده صدايا الحمد لله كانوا كمان في الاولمبيك والاستاذ احمد يعني نفتخر بهذه الشخصيه الطيبه مبروك استاذ احمد الحارس اهلا وسهلا بالجميع بس هون انا بدي استغل كلمه صغيره يعني بالاذن من الشباب حقيقه لازم نقول بدي نرحب بجمعيه المنيا الخيريه بشخص رئيسة الحاج مصطفى محفوظ واعضاء واعضاء الجمهوريين الحاج احمد الهادي عمر العرجة والرئيس السابق والعزيز على جيلي الحاج هاني عم الدين والحاج محمود السوم ابو بلال يعني حقيقه اخوه اعزاء اهلا وسهلا بكم وعندنا اخ عزيز صديق للجمعيه ودائما معنا هو الاستاذ طارق طارق اهلا وسهلا بالجميع شكرا For his achievements as a volleyball champion in Lebanon, Jamal Kandil, the award will be presented by Mohammed Ayoub.
It's a wonderful day, Australia Day, here in Canterbury Bankstown. We've had our citizenship ceremony, we've had our Australia Day awards, we've had our pool parties, and now I'm here at Almina celebrating Australia Day as well. We're reflecting on who we are as a nation, who we are as individuals, and how we contribute to this nation. We're thinking about the, the respect that we give one another as we go about our day and our lives, and about the opportunities this country gives us. And we're celebrating who we are, and who we can be, bringing harmony, closing out divisions, making sure we're at peace with each other, one another, and of course with our Indigenous community. So for everybody, happy Australia Day. Okay. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Yani liyam farhonin bhal farha likbire. جمعية أبناء الميناء أستراليا ضمت هالوجوه الطيبة وكوكبة من أبناء الجالية من نواب ورؤساء بلدية وأعضاء بلدية وأعضاء جمعيات يعني حقيقة كان حفل مهرجان طيب جدا مع الجمعيات الخيرية انبسطنا أهلا وسهلا بالجميع ان هابي أستراليا داي هابي Australia Day and God bless Australia and God bless you all. Allahumma amin. Thank you very much, Ustaz Mustafa. Thank you. Okay. Can you introduce yourself and who you are? And yes. Yeah. Hi, I'm Councillor Rochelle Hareka representing Bass Hill Ward for Canterbury Bankstown Council and I'm here celebrating Australia Day at the El Mina um, Australia Association. I would like to thank Mohammed Habib, who is the uh, president of the Elmina Australia Association, as well as their committee for putting on this fantastic event. Um, a celebration for Australia Day means, you know, it's a lot of people have migrated here for, you know, better opportunities and to live uh, a better life. Um, so I would just like to wish everyone a happy Australia Day. God bless you all and, and stay safe. And thank you to Elmina Australia for, um, you know, uh, reaching out to residents and vulnerable people during a COVID-19 pandemic time. Um, we really do appreciate all the work that you do for the local community. God bless.
Happy Australia Day. Uh, we're here at, uh, at the Almina Association uh, celebrating Australia Day. Uh, what a great gathering. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a sample of how unity is in Australia here, how we all live harmoniously with each other. Uh, we should never forget uh, the old traditional owners of this land, which uh, always will be a tradition, a, a Aboriginal land. So happy Australia Day, everyone, and uh, what a great night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bilal. Happy Australia Day to everyone. I hope you all had a fantastic day celebrating everything that's so beautiful about our great nation. Hope you had a great day. Beautiful. <laughs> اليوم نحن أكيد بنتشكر جمعية المينا والحاج محمد وخالد المصري وجميع الأعضاء على استضافتهم لنا لحتى نحتفل بعيد أستراليا أو يوم أستراليا الوطني اليوم هي فرحة كتير كبيرة فرحة أنه نشعر فيها أنه هيدي الدولة العظيمة اللي عطتنا أشياء كتير بلادنا ما قدروا يعطونا إياها الله يحمي هالوطن الله يحمي أستراليا آه الله يحمي هالبلد الحبيب وكل عام وانتم بألف خير <تصفيق> Happy Australian Day. Ala Kim Ya Rab. Ala Usala Bi Kim Al Hamur. Bid the way. Bid cancel. Shami Al Kaab. Ala Usala Bi Kim Bi Jamaiyat. Yemina. Muhammad Nahda Wiyakum. Ala Bahariya. Al Sibru Shariya. Ala Bahariya. Sibru Shariya. والبحر كويس أصل يا حبيبي عند البحرية أصل وشرقية كويس والبحر كويس أصل يا حبيبي دخلك بلا وشي بالك داخل